have you ever got your testosterone level checked? Do you know what your testosterone level should be at the age you are? Well, I haven't and I don't. I'm 40 years old, so I've decided to do a at-home testing for my testosterone. So I have this kit I purchased and basically what you do is you take some blood and you ship it out, they're gonna test it and send you the results. I think for men it's important to know and be aware of our T levels and if there are any activities or anything that we are consuming that is lowering our testosterone. I'm gonna be testing my test with this test kit and basically I'm gonna go over some of the ways you could naturally increase your testosterone. You know it's easy to go on YouTube and look for a search, uh, you know, how to increase testosterone and you're gonna get all this bro science, hey do this dude, you're gonna increase your testosterone. I try to focus more on the scientific facts with some statistics and testing that has proven to increase the testosterone naturally. So we're gonna go over these uh, different types of ways to increase the testosterone and I'm gonna give myself 60 days to implement that in my diet and in my daily routine. After the 60 days, I'm gonna get another test and to see if my testosterone levels have increased. So now let's go over the different ways that we can increase our test levels. Getting enough sleep and healthy sleeping. They tested people sleeping in a laboratory for three nights uh, with 10 hours of sleep from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. Which is pretty nice sleep there. And then followed by eight nights of five hour bedtimes from 12.30 to 5.30. And each night sleep was recorded. Daytime testosterone was decreased uh, from 10 to 15% from those that slept five hour nights. So based on that study, it shows that people that sleep in around five hours a night, their test levels drop 10 to 15% compared to those that sleep around 10 hours a night. Sunlight and vitamin D. If you're someone that's playing video games all day, you're not getting any sunlight, you're not getting any vitamin D, you're eating Doritos, drinking Mountain Dew, most likely your T levels are low. It's important for us to get sunlight, especially in the morning. Vitamin D, it helps multiply our cells, and the vitamin D in our blood helps men with testosterone production. This research from 2022 shows that vitamin D increases testosterone production. So the research applied activated vitamin D to this tissue and then monitored the surrection of the testosterone. The tissue exposed to activate vitamin D produced more testosterone than the tissue that did not get vitamin D. This indicates that vitamin D affects testosterone production directly in the testicles. Vitamin D supplementation to ensure higher testosterone concentration can therefore be additional positive health effects. So there's more than one benefit for vitamin D. It's good for our bones, it's good for cell division, and it also may increase our testosterone. Exercising and lifting weights. This one is kind of common knowledge. Us men, especially in self-development, uh, we should be working out, we should be going to the gym, we should be bettering ourselves, and working out is probably one of the uh, best ways to do that because it's gonna, it's gonna give you the confidence you need, it's gonna give you the discipline you need, and it also may increase your testosterone levels. Zinc and magnesium. Zinc is an essential mineral and you need zinc for your immune system to function properly. And basically magnesium is essential for your healthy muscles, nerves, bones, and blood sugar levels. So this study in 2023 conducted that all, all evidence supports correlation between magnesium intake and overall testosterone. Both total and free testosterone are boosted with essential minerals. Testosterone is actually more bioavailable bioavail with magnesium supplementation. So this study was conducted with 400 people and they put people on these supplements like magnesium and zinc and those people had higher T levels. So these are definitely some of the supplements that I will be taking for the next 60 days to see if my test levels will increase. Healthy diet, well this is a basic one, but it's also a very important one. Eating healthy will increase the testosterone level because you're not gonna be consuming those types of food that would help reduce the T levels. So what are some of the foods that are healthy for T levels? Well, these are types of foods like fatty fish, salmon, sardines, leafy greens, avocados, eggs, berries. I personally try to focus on my diet as being, um, you know, like the whole food. So if I'm eating chicken, it's what's inside a chicken. It's a chicken. If I'm eating, eating egg, what's inside an egg. I'm not eating anything that's in boxes or anything that has an ingredient list like this. Very small, like maybe three or four ingredients. Uh, I'm trying to focus on that. Eggs, fish, chicken, beef, um, avocados. I've been doing some research on saunas and if saunas does really improve your T levels, 
Um, I've been going to saunas more often. I actually just came back from a sauna today and I just want to go to sleep, but I know I need to film this video. So here I am. Uh, I found this interesting videos on saunas and how it can increase testosterone levels. Now I'd like to talk about the use of sauna to increase growth hormone. Growth hormone impacts metabolism and growth of cells and tissues of the body. Certain forms of deliberate heat exposure using sauna can stimulate very large increases in growth hormone output, which for people in their 30s, 40s, and beyond could be very useful and may also be useful for people who are just trying to stimulate the release of more growth hormone in order to, for instance, recover from exercise or stimulate fat loss or muscle growth or repair of a particular injury. I joined the gym recently and in this gym, I made sure I got the plan that includes the sauna. So after my workout, I go into the sauna for 15 minutes and I'm, it just feels amazing. After that sauna for 15 minutes, I take a shower, I get ready for work and you know, I'm ready to go. So cold showers, they show to reduce stress and lower cortisol, which is the uh, stress hormone. So in this study, stress can be caused by wide ranges of factors, blah, 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 blah. Emotional problems, we all know that. Money, yep, yep, yep. So triggering a flight or flight response that releases the stress hormone cortisol. So when the stress is released, it releases cortisol. And too high of too much cortisol is bad for your health and it also is bad for testosterone production. So it's trying not to stress too much will help with the testosterone level. It's not gonna decrease it. So if you're stressing out a lot about work, family, money, relationship, your testosterone is going down because you're releasing more cortisol. And when you have cortisol, it stops the production of T levels. Reframing from drugs and alcohol, I'm not gonna to go too much into that, but we all know that um, you know, if we're trying to be better versions of ourselves, we need to kind of stay away from that. Shalajit, so this stuff I have, I, I've been using it for a little bit, but I kind of stopped because I just don't like the taste of it, but I'm gonna be um, using this for the next 60 days as well. So this is a, uh, so it's, it's like a, it's like a, it's a blackish, brownish resin. It comes from layers of rocks found in several ranges worldwide, including the Himalayas and the Alti Mountains. It develops over centuries from slow uh, decomposition of plants. So there's uh, quite a few health benefits from this. Here, let me guys show you guys. It's just so gooey. I used to, I, I put it. I used to put it in my green tea, but I kind of stopped because I couldn't enjoy my green tea. But this is what it looks like. It's like this resin and it comes with this little stick and you just take some of it and you put it in something that has preferably hot water because then it dissolves fast. But um, it does have very great benefits. So here are some of the benefits for a Shilajit. I think that's how you pronounce it. So Alzheimer's disease, it's potentially improving Alzheimer's symptoms lower testosterone levels. So testosterone is primarily sex hormones, but some men have a lower level than others. Signs of low testosterone includes blah, blah, blah. We all know that. So um, in one clinical study of male volunteers between 45 to 55, half of the participants were given a placebo and half were given 250 um, milligrams of purified Shalajins twice a day at 90 after 90 consecutive days the study found that participants receiving the purified Salajit had a significantly higher testosterone level compared to the placebo group. So That's one study that shows but it has different uh, Great benefits. So this is some definitely a supplement uh, I'm gonna be taking from now on I'm gonna focus try to take it every day put it in my coffee or my tea but as you can see, it has an iron deficiency, infer, infer, infertility, uh, heart health. Um, so yeah, so this is something else I'm gonna be using. Since we went over the ways we can naturally increase our test levels, there's also ways that you can decrease them. And these include foods such as soy products, soy food, alcohol, mint, baked goods, sugar, flax seeds, pain medication, opioids, and antidepressants, hair loss products that block the conversion of testosterone, and lack of sleep. So those are the ones that we're gonna avoid, definitely stay away from those. So now let's do the test and get our blood. So this is the kit that I got. You can get probably different ones if you just check online, but there's a um, 25% off. So if you guys wanna get one, 
code is holiday25. So let's just open this up. Let's clean our finger here. Okay, now that I got my sample here, I'm gonna ship it out and wait until I get my results. It's been 11 days now since I sent the sample out and I've been taking the vitamins and the supplements and feeling great, a lot of energy, my libido is through the roof. <laughs> um, I got the email today uh, saying that I have my results. I haven't checked it yet and we're gonna do it together right now. Here we are on my dashboard, view results. <clears throat> Hello Dimitri, blah, blah, blah. Your level is 267, mm. lower than I expected, but uh, showing by this graph uh, between normal is between 163 and 517. So I'm a little bit below medium. So, um, well, that's why we're gonna be taking these supplements and trying to see if we could increase it naturally. So in 60 days, I'm gonna do a test again after taking the supplements we discussed in this video and we'll see if my T levels increase. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe right now. So when I post that video, you guys will be notified. And if you found me later on, uh, the follow-up video should be here somewhere. You guys could click on it, all right.